Hi everyone, and welcome to Dan Tech USA. God, I'm old man. 20 years ago this year, Windows 98 was released to the world. Yeah, it's a month away, I think, from its official release date. But I'm going to do kind of a 20 year tribute to Windows 98. Now, I am not a pirate. I do not support pirated software. I actually dug out my actual copy of Windows 98, complete with the book. Got this shit when I got my gateway damn near 20 years ago. Let's check it out. And welcome to the first thing you see if you have a password on Windows 98. Now, as I probably said in the intro, over the loud ass fucking music, sorry. <laughs> this OS and I have a history. Um, I probably didn't say this part in the intro, is my very first computer was in 1994, and it was DOS, and DOS is a pain in the ass. Let's just, let's get right down to it. DOS was, uh, you had to know the commands, like change directory, uh, D-I-R, backslash W, you had to know how to change directory to Quake or whatever. You had to know to go to subdirectories within the subdirectories. You had to know how to run programs to self-extract. Uh, yeah. Um, that didn't work for some reason, but whatever. Um, DOS is such a pain in the ass. And then Windows 95 comes along, right? 95 is awesome. 95 introduced the frickin' recycle bin and the notification bar down here, the time. So what did Windows 98 bring to the table? Well, fast forward to 1998. That's when we got our first gateway. Unfortunately, I'm not recording this on a gateway. Um... I had no way of capturing the software. So this is actually being emulated through Windows 7. Um, so this is using Virtual PC to emulate Windows 98. It's fine. I had no other way of capturing it, so I apologize in advance. Because uh, this, is, this is actually emulated. Now, so what did Windows 98 bring to the table? I mean, this is Windows 98's 20th anniversary. That's why I'm doing a tribute to Windows 98. What did Windows 98 bring to the table here? Well, let's find out. First of all, I don't think you could empty the recycle bin. Well, yeah, you could. But I think Windows 98, you could actually change it to not use the recycle bin. That may have been in Windows 95. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've been on 95. In my old channel, I had a tribute to 95. I don't know why. I also had a tribute to Vista. Um, I don't know why. Windows Vista? You mean this piece of shit? Uh, see, I don't think I get that. Oh, okay, okay. Alright. So what did Windows frickin' 98 bring to the table? Well, let's see. What version of Internet Explorer is this? Eh, yeah, land. No one has modems anymore. If they do, it's a Dreamcast. 
So I recommend if you guys don't have a freaking Dreamcast, you get one. But that's another story. Do you ever want to know the version of whatever you're using? If it's a program in Windows, it's usually under help. And this is Internet Explorer 5. Ooh. And I do believe eventually it upgraded to 5.5 or 6. Windows 98 was supported from 1998 to 2006. I don't think they called them service packs. But so yeah, that's, that is one thing Windows 98 actually did. That was new. Windows Update. And it runs a lot like Windows fucking XP, if you ever used XP. Only this is dead. It's been dead for a long time. It's not going to do a damn thing. Another new thing was the integration of Windows Explorer to look more like the Internet Browser. In fact, that's the Internet Browser logo right there. And from my computer, I think you can launch into the Internet. Hold on, let's try it. Yeah, you can launch straight to Google from Internet Explorer. Or from Windows Explorer. And, believe it or not, Google actually works in Windows 98 still to this day. So I'm going to look myself up. There he is. <laughs> there he is, baby. Um, I'm going to look up someone else who isn't me. So I'm not, you know, a narcissist. Autocomplete, I think, was added in Windows 98, believe it or not. I don't, don't think 95 had it. I could be wrong. There's PewDiePie. Google actually works. There are a few websites that work. Most of them do not. Ironically enough, I love how Google works. Check this out. I don't think you do. I don't think your own parent... Yeah, it doesn't work. Um, it, it's, it upgraded, obviously. Um, well, other sites may work. Hold on. Apple probably doesn't. Nope. Alright. I'll be surprised if this one works, but it worked on my Xbox. No. Okay. So those don't work for obvious reasons. Uh, I can't think of any more websites. Like, simple text-based websites, I don't know any off the top of my head. They probably work. I'm going to Google. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't think of any more. We're going to move on. Um, let's see. And, let's see, what else did 98 change? Folder options. Active desktop. View as web page. That's new. But remember, this is the second edition of Windows 98 because apparently the first edition was almost as buggy as Windows ME. You know, and then there was the caliber of the games on Windows 98. Um, <laughs> I mean, you had freaking obviously Quake. Uh, I forgot to see. Uh, you gotta know your DOS. There's an edit command that only works in 32 bit versions of Windows. Up to Windows 10, ladies and gentlemen. 80s work. Sorry, the edit command works on Windows 10 32 bit. Not 64 bit. It don't work on XP 64 bit. 32 bit only program. And this is simple code. For Quake. I'm not doing full screen because it'll mess my recording software up, so I'll blow it up a little bit. Um, this is Quake code. Um, I, I don't know if I can actually run the game, so I'm not going to. But, you know, there's a bunch of games. Tribes, Tribes 2 still works, though I don't have it installed. StarCraft works, obviously. Um,. Uh, only game I have installed right now is Carmen San Diego. This is a classic. Um, and I think. Hold on. 
Okay, well, I'll do that later. That works. Uh, see, what else is new? Do they have any games built in? Yeah, all this was on... I'm pretty sure all this was on XP except for the media player. Or not XP, but Windows 95. System tools is new, I think. Especially FAT32. So I'm pretty sure Windows 95 used FAT16. And then there may have been a later... Oh, there we go. Sorry to interrupt myself. I found a side I'm going to try. <laughs> uh, no! Are you serious? It's text-based, fool. But that's awesome. I love how Google works, but nothing else does. There are no built-in games, unfortunately. Pro Windows fucking 98. Which is annoying. <laughs> Uh, so the only game I have is this one. And I'll probably get flagged for this, but I don't care. <laughs> oh, this switch the resolution. Anyway, this game's stupid. I'm not gonna justify it. Hello and welcome to Acme. I'm the chief, All right. but you can call me... Alt F4, still works. You can do it here, too, to shut down your computer. Um, if you hold Start and E... See, they redid the File Explorer. I don't think this existed in Windows 95. I mean, it might have. It might have been a different version of this, but I'm pretty sure it did not. But see, I'm an old school DOS man. So I did create this, which is a DOS only. And the only difference is under advanced, you got a program first, then advanced, um, you just hit that. Prevent MS DOS based programs from detecting windows. It works, trust me. Um. This is new. This is from Office. Office installs that too. Um, that's the same. Uh, Active Desktop was new, as I said. I gotta check out what the favorites were back then. Best of the web, channel guide, free hot. Windows Update was brand new at the time. Best of the web. And obviously, it's not there anymore. That'd be amazing if those links still work. Um, how about find <laughs> on the internet? That's new. Obviously help. That was in Windows 95. So was this. I think you could log off to. I'm pretty sure 98 or 95 did not have Windows Update. But it don't matter. It don't work anymore. Oh my god, CompuServe. That takes me back. AOL. <laughs> It takes me back. Freaking garbage. I uh, never had AOL, thank God. Uh, AT&T. Oh, dear Christ. WorldNet. Wow, they really wanted you to do this. No, 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 no. Crap. I know you're Alt F4, man. That free trial off my freaking computer, bro. I will frickin' delete this. You can choose a program to start up. What the hell is Prodigy? I remember CompuServe, but not Prodigy. And I can't believe there are no built-in games. But they did have a plus pack, and that's probably the thing that had the games. Had WordPad. Notepad, which is on every version of Windows, except for 3.1. Believe me, I know I have 3.1. Control panel is a little bit different too. Um, obviously, Carmen installed that. Um, this Microsoft sound changed. I like 95s better because this is what you get, right? Oh, let me see if I can. 
This is it. This is the new one. It's freaking terrible. Terrible. I kind of wish I would have saved 95s, but that's alright. I can always reinstall it and get it back. Um, sound, add hardware. This is pretty much the same as it was. 95 had a few differences, but nothing major. Um, USB 1.0 was new. Even though you can get a 2.0 PCI card installed. Um, USB devices did not work at all on Windows 95. Unless they had a late, later release. Because the one I used did not. Anyway. That is pretty much all I have on Windows 98. Um... Hey, throw a comment, or yeah, comment below if you actually use this OS. I know Microsoft has a ton of operating systems, and my viewership ranges from 10-year-olds to 40-year-olds. So yeah, let me know if you ever use Windows 98. All right, Windows 98 out.